I'm 13 News Now meteorologist Evan Seward. It's late Friday night and we have an update in the tropics. A brand new hurricane. We talked earlier about Tropical Storm Leslie. It has now become Hurricane Leslie. And that's in addition to Hurricane Kirk, which is out here in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. We are seeing some obscuration of the eye, but it is still a powerful Category 4 hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour. So even though it is looking a little bit more ragged and the eye is getting a little bit obscured by some overcast clouds in the center, it is still, again, a very powerful storm with winds of 130 miles per hour and gusts to 160. It's moving to the north-northwest now at 13 miles per hour. And the good news with this storm is it's going to pass well east of the island of Bermuda. Some of those swells will certainly impact Bermuda and they could eventually impact parts of the United States late this weekend and into early next week as it passes by well off towards the east. As it moves up into the North Atlantic, it quickly weakens, although it'll still be a remnant low. And as we head into Wednesday of next week, heading over towards areas of the United Kingdom and Europe, and even up towards France, there's uh, Spain right there. So they'll still have some impacts with some heavy rain and some gusty squally winds through parts of Europe from Hurricane Kirk. It won't be a hurricane then, but the remnants will certainly still cause some issues there. In the meantime, here's Kirk, and then right behind it, we have Leslie, which as of 11 o'clock Friday night, has become a hurricane with winds of 75 miles per hour. It's moving to the west-northwest at 7, and it's really going to follow a similar track to Kirk. The difference here is it's not going to be nearly as strong, only forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane, which it currently is. By Sunday, 90 mile per hour winds and weakening a little bit. Some of this because it'll be traveling in the wake of Hurricane Kirk. It might get a little bit farther west, but it too looks like it'll curve off into the North Atlantic. In the meantime, a wave coming off the African coast late next week has about a 30% chance of development. Close to home, though, we have an area of low pressure that is back here across the western Gulf of Mexico, looking more and more likely that this could become our next tropical storm. It will be Tropical Storm Milton if it forms, and there's about a 70% chance of it developing into at least a tropical or subtropical depression, if not a tropical storm late this weekend and early next week. If, even if it doesn't develop, it's going to bring some heavy rain to parts of Florida. Of course, the Panhandle in the Big Bend area was hit hard by Helene just a week ago, and even down towards Tampa had issues with flooding and some heavy rains. This could bring more flooding rains and heavy downpours through the southern half of the state of Florida. So. That is what's going on in the tropics late this Friday evening. Of course, we'll have updates throughout the weekend, and we'll keep an eye on everything brewing in the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico.